Hello, I'm Tawana Adetunji. I'm representing the church. I'm an ordained minister at a local church here in Montgomery, Alabama, Fresh Anointing House of Worship, where we shepherd over 2,000 people. My husband and I are also the founders of the Opportunity Makers, a pro-life organization. And I'm also the author of two pro-life books. You see, you know, I'm reminded of Isaiah 49, 15, which says, can a woman forget her nursing child or lack compassion for the child of her womb? Even if these forget, yet will I never forget you. How does the Lord not forget? The Lord does not forget because he uses his church. I want all of us to say, we are the church. We are the church. We are the church. You see, the church isn't just some building. The church is comprised of people. The church is a place where Jesus said that he came to seek and save that which was lost. Tell me how I know. Because at the age of 17, down there in those housing projects, not too far from here, I was a senior in high school about to graduate, and I found out that I was pregnant. And I believed the lie that I had heard that the baby that I was carrying was a glob of tissue. So I went to the local abortion clinic without my mom's knowledge or per permission, and I got rid of that child. A few years later, still living my life and looking for love in all the wrong places, at the age of 25, I found myself pregnant again. Still not thinking that, oh, this is nothing. I have to go on with my life. I can do whatever I want. I had my second abortion but you know something was different for six whole weeks i hemorrhaged i bled i didn't know what was wrong with me they didn't tell me this at the abortion clinic and i remember crying out i couldn't tell anybody because after they tell you to abort your child there's nobody left to help you there's no follow-up there's no counseling. I only had the mercy of God. But I finally called the abortion clinic back and I said, something is, is wrong. And so I went back, I traveled up to Birmingham where I had had it because at that point I was about four months. And when I got to the clinic, they said, oh, we're sorry. We left pieces of the baby on the inside of you. So at that point, they confessed, and I was like, pieces of the baby? You're telling me? And I had to go through that procedure again. I found myself wounded, hurt, left alone, and I remember crying out to God. And he led me to a local church, a local church who provided comfort, a local church who provided healing, a local church that provided help and assistance for me. And I found and I began to understand the power of forgiveness. And from that moment on, I began to go about like the woman at the well and say, come and see a man that told me everything that I've ever done, but he still loves me. You know, that's the power of the cross. That's the, that's the power. That's the power of the cross. The power of the cross. That's the power of the cross. That is the power of the cross. That is the power of the cross. That is the power of the cross. 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 Because not only, because not only did Jesus Christ die for me, the power of the cross, the power of the cross, Jesus loves, Jesus saves. Just invite him to have a conversation without screaming at us later. Sir, I will be glad to talk to you afterwards because the truth is, not only did Jesus die for me, 
he died for you as well. Not only did he die for me, he died for you, and he loves you, and I love you too, and there's nothing that you can say. So allow me as a woman, allow me as a woman to tell my experience. Allow me as a woman to share my experience. Allow me as a woman to share my experience. So I want to give all the glory. I want to give all the honor to God because without him, I am nothing. It is the power of the cross. Not only did Jesus die for me and all of us, but he even died for those who crucified him. He died for those who crucified him. So to God be the glory. The church is alive and well, and I want to thank the church. I want to thank the people of God for being there. I say thank you to the people of God for being there. Thank you. Thank you all for coming here to speak.